Hello, Constable. Grim. How are you two? Bardicuno, Bardicuno, thank you for 103 months. Guess who was in the United States today? I'm me. Is it, it me? Me. How are you in the States? Soft pretzel with salt and beer cheese dip on the side. Delicious. Hello, floofy billy goat. Vic. Super close to the border, and I wanted to go. You mean break of the law? How many heists did you perform? Cinnamon sugar from Auntie Anne's. I, uh, I'm of the opinion that Auntie Anne's is the best of the, like, fast food-esque pretzel places. Get that Wetzel's pretzel shit out of here. For a checkpoint. Zero high sphere, go high, yeah. Well, I, I am unconvinced, but I was left to take your word for it. Saw the eclipse, full view. Excellent. Yeah, it was uh, only uh, partially visible here. I waited outside and everything. It is not my birthday, but hello, Bina. How are you? Get all the DLC for Inquisition. The Jaws of Hack on DLC. It, that's what burned me out for the game. I'll go back to it. I, I swear I'll go back to it. I think I still have it installed. I'm fluctuating between um, various degrees of pain and Various, uh, various, but still very localized parts of my body or like close proximity to each other. But it's not as bad as it was earlier, so I'll take it. I'm out of resting. I mean, that's kind of part of the problem.
think it might be the bed. So I'm going to have to. I've looked very briefly into um, into a couple of different countries and like or companies, not countries. Um, I'm leaving the country to buy a new bed. Uh, none, none of the ones that would appear to be reputable or good. Um, are terribly within the attainability at the moment, so I'm going to have to figure something out. Yes, how are you all, those of you who are uh, who arrived after I asked that question? Yeah, I was looking at um, the big thing these days, Helix Sleep, and they, everybody and their dog has a discount code for it. But everybody who I've either spoken to who has one or everybody who I've, who I've like, things like creators, etc., cetera, um, people who actually swear by them, Swear by them. Like, I haven't seen much negative buzz about them. And they seem to have a little something for everybody. And it's an awful, we can't do shit about it, so I'm, here I am. I understand. Glad to have you at least. Hello, Scrixie. Some cinnamon sugar covered pretzels in Maine today from where? Right, like was it was it Auntie Anne's? If it was somehow Auntie Anne's despite us and make her that was brought up earlier. That'd be very amusing. Thank you, thank you for forty six months. Early for once. I don't know if that's true. Yes, hello. Hmm. Well, that
unnecessary. And I'm, um, I'm probably, oh, Jesus. So I have a new, well, not new, well, new enough, I guess. I finally fucked around and fixed my equalizer settings for my headset. Rather, I got them working. But since I've had this thing, until very recently, I haven't been able to uh, actually use the equalizer or spatial sound that comes with the software in this. Like, it just wouldn't work. And only recently did I go through the process of uninstall, like troubleshooting and figuring out why it wasn't working. I still don't really know why. I just installed thing like clean installed in a certain order and it somehow worked. Uh, all that to say, I have an equalizer setting going currently and things are bassier and louder. So that ocelot was intense. Yeah, I'm regarding the the mattress thing. I don't. I want to do some sort of something. Um, try to build for it, but I want it to be worthwhile for you all. That is, um, I'm toying around with a few ideas. I do know, at the very least, next month. I'm going to do a, um, and this is completely unrelated, by the way. Um, so, like, it could be related, although I don't really want to wait that long. Um, but all of next month, I'm going to be doing, like, a community game sort of thing. Either community-suggested games, where, like, recommended games that I mess around with, or uh, games that we as a community can play for the basically the entire month of May. Asterisk. The asterisk being like availability and uh, reasonability and burnout, etc. I don't know what I expected. So try to, uh, please do. That is one of the games that I have been wanting to like. I loaded it up a couple of nights ago because I was going through it and I needed something mindless to just mess around with. And um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to see how that game's doing. No one is playing it. But the devs have all but killed, like they, they've stopped development for it. They have announced this publicly. That said, they are very much um, planning to release their, like they're making another game completely independent of the Attack on Titan IP so they can take the bones that they built with that and make it into something unique and better without the constraints of Attack on Titan. And I'm looking forward to that. Because I have yet to encounter locomotion in a game that is as satisfying, which is saying something. Like the only thing that, the only thing that I would say is on par, or like even close to Stars East Tribes for me. Better, than, yes, better than the Spider-Man games. Uh, the Spider-Man games are very good, but there's, there's not, believe it or not, there, it doesn't feel like there's enough control, because that's true, Wrath, hello. Uh, are you referring to Fung Lee's Attack on Titan, Yo. If so, I play that, I, there are a bunch, um, Fung Lee's was a Flash game, I think, 
Java one out of two. Jeff Flash or Java. It was the yeah, it was three D. Uh there are at least two that come to mind. It was were was it like Chibi? The character models? Yeah, uh, that was fun Lee's. That I played the heck out of too. That one, um the only reason I would prefer that one over the one that I've been playing most recently is because that one had Titans. The other one is purely PvP. Yeah, it's it's so frustrating that AAA studios cannot get that sort of locomotion right. The official Attack on Titan games just weren't really that good. Okay, what was I doing? What did I, I died somewhere? Where did I die? Oh god. Uh three crests. Oh wait. It was Hunterville's No, it was I did the Hunters. It was the The Pierce Room. I need the shotgun. I'm going to stow these. Uh, yeah, I I want to convince more people to play that Attack on Titan fan game. Um, the the one that I've played most recently on this channel. The the one that we've played like as a community before. I want to get more people in on that. Because even if you're not in Attack on Titan, like, it is a solid experience even if you're not a fan of the series or the IP. And I do not say that lightly. Uh, it is called Rourke's Attack on Titan. Uh, let me... I like I don't eat... Yeah, I... Uh, I think that's how you spell it. But yeah, even, um, even if you don't care for anime in general, it's still a fun time. Away, I think, but I don't know. Bank rounds. That's weird. Shotgun shells. Magnum grenade. Right. Although that's also strange. Why is this? this way because I don't want to get gone. Wait, where am I going? It was upstairs. Do it this way. I'm going to get hit by a dog though. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, I hug the right wall. It works. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay in your lane. Star Crest. It's got the bridge seal of approval. I'm gonna run these back actually. It's only the space. Don't bite me. Oh, Stillman. He 
Peter Stillman. Yeah, that was Mark Wilkins from Outbreak. I, there is a resemblance, so I understand. This feels off. All right, so handgun, shotgun, shells, magnum. Rounds, grenade launcher, I, and the acid, yeah, it's silly. I think, I think I need to do this. Oh, you didn't behave. This time I got bit there. I hate everything. Let's actually do this first. Actually, I don't know if I like this equalizer. The base is too heavy. I can maybe tweak it, but I have no idea what I'm doing with the EQ stuff. Cleric, thank you for 42 full months. Welcome back. I hate everything. You want to know the interesting thing there? I didn't shoddy up with that. I just pulled the trigger and it. What? A shell. Sad to. How goes it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this victory and uh, save so I don't have to do it all again. Although I don't like not having the shells. Decent amount of acid rounds. Why did I load those? I shouldn't have loaded those. I think that's it. No thoughts on some big bad release tonight. What's that? So I wouldn't say that, uh, Should really deal with that one dog in particular. But... God, if I just had a handgun. So, but I don't, I don't like those words you're saying. forget I was just plotting and planning I guess that's fine 
Uh, I, I'm of the opinion that, um, yeah, like exactly what Fluffy Billy Goat said. It, like it's, the stories told within the MGS, at least MGS, the stories told there aren't bad stories. It has a very limited scope though. Um, and they're, they're hard to relate to, to the real world, if only because, yeah, it's... Everything ex is exaggerated in ways that... Like you would expect it to be for a video, especially a video game narrative from the early, uh, or rather late 90s. And on, well, even before that, the 80s, technically. Um, but it really kicked off with the 90s. And in my opinion, the worst parts are sort of inflated or exaggerated of uh, just the American political system and military structure, etc. But I think in doing so, like it's simultaneously jarring and it also does the series a great service in that it can be nonsensical and it can feel like its own thing. It doesn't feel bound by it. In that it works. I will say though, you do have to be all in when it comes to Metal Gear's narrative. vomit an entire textbook of exposition yeah it's it can be a lot it can absolutely you have to be all in you have to buy in because if you're not if you're not already picking up what he's putting down he's not going to win you over with the sheer volume of shit that comes out of those characters mouths That's why Death Stranding lost me. Like it, I love the concept of Death Stranding. At no point did the story really resonate with me. survive the room I'm about to go into and I'm, I've been trying to think of a way around it but I don't really think I have one I unless I waste a bunch of rounds I don't think I can I need because I only hit single target that uh, sucks I'm gonna leave that save in case I need to go back I might need shotgun shells have to clear this room because I don't know what you know what I don't suspect you'll like it either all the well what do you expect out of death stranding given what you know about it already what do you expect from it Best nap. My dog's belly one night when I fell asleep to Death Stranding stream with a red hat on at the end. I could only think of the song. Damn, feels good to be a gangster. Fair enough. A lot of busy work and holding W. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised in how it's a. I don't, I don't think you would be wrong in saying that. Like, I, I feel like people describe it as a walking simulator for a reason, but 
like, and that's not unfair. But I also think it's a bit more nuanced than that, in that... The game, it's very much a game that hinges on player engagement. Like, the player has to feel comfortable make, like, not necessarily making their own fun, but embracing the tools that the game gives you to do so. Like, at, at times, the game very much feels like a... Like, each delivery can feel like its own little logic puzzle, depending on the situation, like, depending on where it is and what you have built up and the goals you set for yourself. That in itself was enjoyable for me. But at the same time, not everybody cares. Compared to Mike, I think that's fair, yeah. I. The only reason I don't go to Minecraft instantly when it comes to Death Stranding and the way building and like... You don't have the freedom that Minecraft does, and there's an expectation of freedom when you think Minecraft, among everything else that comes with. Picturing Shadow of the Colossus or Tears of the Kingdom without anything happening, it's not that. Um... Yeah, there, there's... I would... I, I think it's biggest shortcoming. Um, Gameplay-wise, I think Death Stranding's biggest shortcoming is... Uh, is that it doesn't really build itself up very quickly. And it can lose a lot of people that way. kind of have to put in a bit of time and build up what you can do before you can actually uh, get to the fun stuff. And a lot of the fun stuff is building. Like plotting routes and setting up the structures necessary to execute those routes. It's a lot of planning. five hours putting out a right yeah I, the amount of time i spent developing all those roads yeah it's so satisfying it's such a satisfying relaxing game if you let it the, the plot is nonsense yeah Meanwhile, on the other hand, other end of storytelling, I'm convinced Naughty Dog is trying to get me to hate the last of us. Why is that? Because that's all they're fucking doing. I mean, that's all not like all Naughty Dog is doing is The Last of Us as a series or. OK, yeah, OK, the oversaturation of the IP, I, I understand. the last of us as an ip i'm all for them uh 
Like I enjoy the, I enjoyed both games. I enjoyed the HBO show. I am sad I didn't get into um, into factions before they pulled the plug and they they're not doing it anymore. But yeah, I, I don't think you're alone in wanting Naughty Dog to return to return to form. Uh, return. Return to some of their less The Last of Us roots. I don't agree at all, Gio. I, I, that has not been my experience with it, my interpretation of it. I'm not going to say the, the writing has been a masterclass, but it has been compelling for me, at least. And yeah, pair that with the, the visuals, the acting, the, the gameplay presentation. Like, it all works for me. for me is that it's not uh, like it's, it's a story about people that I it, it's a story about people and it's like the setting is um, it's almost the opposite of Resident Evil where the characters are the backdrop and the setting and the monsters are the main focus At least um, everything past RE4, I would say, is the case. RDR2. So I'm assuming that's Joel. Yeah, okay. That's that's an emote for me. It's a spinning fish, and I don't know, I don't understand why. But it is. But, um, yeah, I, for the most part, I would say the, the story is, at, at least for the first game, uh, for the most part, the story is, I think, fairly predictable. Um, like, I wouldn't say there are a lot of twists and turns, but I also didn't feel like there'd... I, I don't know how to phrase this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm being apologetic towards a si series or letting things slide, but it that's not the way I mean this at all. I felt like it didn't necessarily need to break any particular mold in the the pacing of the story or the beats of the story because the way it was portrayed felt unique enough and the acting was phenomenal. Why is that one going so fast? That's all lowercase.
There it is. Did I save? No, I don't know. The second one goes out. I'm, I'm going to do my best to not talk about uh, spoilers. I played it recently, but I know at least if Annika's still around, I know she hasn't watched or played it yet herself. So I'm going to avoid spoilers for her sake when talking about the second one. But that one felt like it definitely um, subverted expectations more than the first one. And a lot of people didn't like where the story went. And I understand the reasons for it. I, the more I think about it, the more I, uh, the more I've thought about it, the more I wind up appreciating the second one. I'm gonna. How long that was? Minutes ago. Many minutes ago. Dreading this. This is gonna suck. Oh, I came back here for ammo. That's what I wanted. I just don't know which. I don't even know if I need what I'll be taking. I'm gonna use these, even though. No, I'm not. No, I know better. I'm gonna do that. If I survive long enough. Don't you fuck with me. You fuck with me. I'm. You're getting the business on the way back. forget this is here. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered, but now you put me in Hello, oh, jerk. I need this now. Just in my life. That's so basic. It's not much of a dilemma, it's just... Would I have any reason to come back up that way? I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna bring first rounds. I'm gonna go this way. I'm going to avoid the dog. I've yet to find, hello crows, the... somewhere. Where were they? I don't even have the magnum yet, so it's not terribly important, but I think I left them outside.
I didn't even fucking move. That was rude. Uh, I'm gonna have a blue. I do have a blue. I eat this now. I'm gonna get got by spiders, apparently. Oh, wow, you caught me. There are so many sharks. You were supposed to get hit. We done. Do you have this wait problem? I don't have the lighter though, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Why you? This is why I kept this blue though. I'm gonna combine it with green. get out of that. Not a key item, that's for sure. I'd probably avoid that if I die. I think I'm done with man. No, I'm not. I still have a couple of things to do in mansion. Still have to do chemical. I still have to do the jewels. Did I get any of the jewels? I don't think so. I still have to do. Um, Light Sonata. Take upstairs for the chimeras. part of a team. I'm going to poke my head in. But I expect this to be terrible. Unless this is birds, I'm going to have a bad time. It's bad.
This is why I have flame rounds, I guess. never recognize when I actually break through. Last time I got it instantly. Wow. Yeah, see, okay, I think I know the angle, though. It's about, nope. It's about that. Two shotgun shells. That would have been useful. Oh, good. All right. Perfect. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. I would have had to. Shotgun's back on the menu. Good, excellent. All right. I think the next thing is going to be handgun rounds. Nope, broken shotgun. Eat. Shit. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just take this down. Could have been worse. zero context for what's going on in chat because I've been planning and I look over and I read twink butterfly thief Second I worth full price. Um hmm. that is a difficult question for me to answer because I don't know how I don't what do you value in fighting games? Is it something that you intend to stick with? Like If yes, like that's really the only time I would ever recommend buying a fighting game at full price. When you want to get in on uh, like the early days and you know you're going to play it. I 
I have mixed feelings about eight from a mechanic standpoint, but it is a solid game. Like me not meshing very well with the new features uh, doesn't really speak to the quality of the game, I think. something on Discord. Oh. No, you weren't supposed to bite me. Now I have to kill you. Uh. Incredible. I should eat this. Oh, I, I need to eat something. Chicken, but oh, fine. It was a tin roll, of course it was. Jesus Christ. Do the shimmy. Thank you. you I have okay there they all are uh I'll need that again later but I can let's go on silver lights but in this way for now I think I'm no wait Shotgun shells, all right. I'm waiting to do any sort of, uh, any sort of rolls until, actually, I need to see how many tickets I have. Ever seen this game before in your life? Are you at all familiar? Wait, this is a problem. No, not really. I still want to split that. I can just load them. Um, well, no, if I load them, I'm going to have to. Ah, shit. I'll wait. Because I might. I'll have to plan accordingly. But are you at all familiar with Resident Evil as a series?
seven, um, funnily enough, uh, harkens back to this game in terms of its design. Uh, what do I want? I can put away the fade. And want the knife. That's what I was looking for. I want to stab these jerks. No. Oh, there's a lot. I will stab you bunches. Just wait. Oh. Gotta go. some of the earlier titles. I more so meant the design philosophy, though. Resident Evil is a series with an identity crisis. It has been for a good while, at least a decade, uh, if not more. And um, Resident Evil 7 was the first time in many games that they decided to go back to their roots, which was this game in terms of design philosophy. Oops. Didn't care too much for the RE4 make. Why is that? For me, like, I have mixed feelings about it, because on the one hand, I think it's a phenomenal game in that it, uh, it completely usurped the original for me. But I also am of the opinion that RE4's style uh, is not really my kind of... Res it's not the Resident Evil that I want. But I cannot deny that it built upon the original in every meaningful way for me. If it didn't delete all your progress, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stow Shotgun Chan for now. Oh, this bothers me. Oh, shit. Give me those. Put those there. There. Now I have a pistol, which is great news. It's not good news, though. It is. Your enjoyment of the RE franchise would have improved if Capcom just moved away from Umbrella and viruses. Instead of just finding new and silly ways to have supernatural things. I, I, not really. Um, my problem with Resident Evil, like the games that I, they don't really mesh well with me. Um, my problem with those games isn't really the the contrived nature of the various viruses they come up with to explain all the monsters and BOWs you fight. It's the gameplay changes. There was something out here that I could grab. 
<sighs> Forgot he was alive. I deserve that, actually. Yeah, yeah. Go to sleep. Forever. The, I've always been of the opinion that as much as I appreciate the campiness of Resident Evil, as the early ones, I very much have always wanted more substance out of it. Like more... It doesn't even have to be serious, just more substance. And I feel like we're getting that with the various remakes we've gotten so far. Resident Evil hasn't, historically, it hasn't been a very narrative-focused series. Its stories have not been its strong point. And as a writer myself, I, I've i always played in the, uh, the idea that they could be better. They could be far more compelling than what we get. days. Dino Crisis, that's writing. Dino Crisis pissed me off. It just keeps going. I... I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Hell. Roll this for now. I should bring one of those keys. Actually, can I just access this now? I think I can. Oh, good. All right. This. Yep. I'll take it. I'm sure I'll need it. I don't remember if... Oh, good. Just birds. Got him situation, and boy, do I got him. Thank you. 
I'll do it now. I don't think it's going to be anything of substance. I think at best I'm going to get a uh, get a shotgun ammo or something. I would love the Magnum, but I doubt it. Like they definitely. Absolutely, uh, shred his hands. That's a broken shotgun. Can't fool me twice. See, I... The only reason... Oh, why'd I go this way? Wait, no, this was right. I need to go up. Uh... The only reason I would backline either Chris or Jill now is because of how they've been used up to this point. I would want to change that entirely. Hell, I, ju I just want consistency within their characters. Which... Both to the, um... Wait, I shouldn't go this way. I should go downstairs. There are dogs. I don't want to risk it. Um... But the amount of personality shifts that all the main characters have had, with the exception of maybe Claire, I think Claire's been the most consistent because it's mostly been Allison Court. With the exception of uh, Stephanie Panicello, it's really just been Allison Court. But Chris has gone through so much, Jill has gone through so much. But in terms of like character revisions or personality shifts because of the different actors in different games. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think Ethan is a... He is a something character in the worst way. Um... I can just go to the other save room. Like, the personality that Ethan does have is snarky movie critic. And I kind of hate that. It's in Seven, specifically. I have made a terrible mistake. Don't you want to see a snarky movie critic tortured? I mean, maybe not in first person. Uh, and I, I'm of the opinion, like, Chris for me has been boring since five. Like, he, he was boring in five for me. I didn't really like, well, five is just ridiculous because it's, Five is where it went full comic book. Um, four was like 75% comic book. Five was 100% comic book. And the changes to Chris made me not really... Uh... Not really care about the character anymore. He, he absolutely has been boring, but I think boring in a good way. Um... How do I? Ghost Run is going. Uh, we've only only gotten God once so far, I think. Yeah, he he seems like the straight man character that's not necessarily needed um but can be welcome in terms of uh bringing out 
other characters. I thought he served that purpose fairly well. Like, I enjoyed him the most in Code Veronica. And then he goes all over the place with personality shifts from five onward, and it's uh, less than enjoyable. I, just, I want them to... As someone who enjoyed the characterization of Jill and RE3 make and who has been enjoying the like that continued characterization of Jill uh, up to this point since, I want them to do something with her that isn't absolutely brutal on her soul. Like I, I've had same, honestly, same with Chris. I have had it with, uh, for, this is the only reason I would want them to put them on the back burner. I feel like both Jill and Chris and Leon to an extent, but mostly in, um, uh, in some of the CG stuff, um, They, it's gotten to the point of where it's a given that they're going to survive, so they just emotionally torture these two characters. And it's not really compelling. And it also doesn't help. I don't know how the, uh, the Japanese scripts go, but at least for um, uh, the American release of Death Island, that writing was abysmal. And it had a... It had the potential to be better than it was. Like, the characterizations were fine. But the, the writing was not good. Yeah, the acting was great. The, uh, the characterization, I thought, were okay. Um, oh boy. I'm stacking these. That means I need to do this. I think at this point, though, what I really would like to see is because this is, I mentioned this a handful of streams ago at this point during the Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth a thon. Um, there's a rumor floating around that it's going to be open world Resident Evil 9. And the only way that works for me is, well, I don't want to say, like the only way I can see that working, I'm, I'm not the developer, so I don't really, they could surprise me, but the only way I can think that that could work for me, um, is by having, if you have legacy characters like Jill or Chris, um, is to have them basically dropped into a, a hot, so like a giant city, have that city be open world, obviously contaminated, and have the focus be on saving as many people as you can in the various scenarios. And, like have growth come from that, or like development come from that. You know, I, that's about where I'm at. It doesn't sound like a good idea. They could surprise me. Like I, if it happens, I'll give it a shot. I'm not going to, I'm not going to shoot down the idea, but, uh, I can, I can see them doing something compelling from a gameplay standpoint with modern uh, technology and development tricks. I can see it maybe happening, but I also, it really depends on what the focus is. And that is, who knows at this point. Open world, but it's a Metroidvania.
Well, that's the that's part of why I think it has the potential of working for Resident Evil, because the story in Resident Evil has never been strong. Like it's never really been the point. Like it's been there, but in terms of well, I don't want to say never. No, up to four. Um, like I would even include four in the, the group of RE games where story wasn't really the, the focus. They did an extensive character focus in five onward. Uh, with the except, well, I would even, I would include seven uh, as a character focused game, character driven. But every other time, it's mo it's it's really been um, it's really been the settings and the monsters that were the the highlights, the the focus. Like they were characters in and of themselves, and I think that worked. And I think something similar could work for an open world Resident Evil if you if they take the time to develop those areas. If it's if it's generic, um, if it's something like Just Cause, where you go from like base to base, like not quite what the traversal of Just Cause, but the concept of going from almost like cookie cutter esque uh, base and like liberate the. I want more attention to the detail and the environments. Yeah, the ideal for me would be something like that. I don't know if I don't know if they would want um, or I don't know if they would do it. I don't I don't know if they would because it, it would be very similar to Outbreak in that regard. Uh, just Unknown people. Story has never been good, but the world building has been. I, I don't know if I agree, and it pains me to say that. I think the world building within each individual game, um, up to a point, has been serviceable. Like the world building surrounding the mansion or the RPD, or Marcus's facility in Zero, um, all of that stuff, I think is pretty solid. It's compelling. It puts, uh, well, I don't want to say it's a, I don't want to say like it's immersive, but it, it does its job of getting you inside that location that you're playing through right then and there. In terms of cohesive world building across multiple games it is so scattershot because this is this series has existed for decades at this point so it's it's all over the place with different games and different writers and different focuses Let's, where am I? I'm, I put that away for a reason. I'll go out this way. I'll reassess once I get back to Art House. For now I have everything I need. I should probably heal. Back for Blood wasn't as well received as I, uh, I would have hoped. 
I don't think it's a bad game. It just didn't lag or it didn't have the same charm. It didn't have the same staying power as Left 4 Dead. Okay, that's done, that's done. I'm gonna poke my head in here just to see. Spiders, I think. Yeah, it's, that's my ideal game. Like, I've, it doesn't have to be Raccoon City, but I would love for them to do a modern rack, like, modern take on Raccoon City with that exact premise. That is what I've always wanted since Outbreak. But I, I truly don't see it happening. Like, bonus points if it's multiplayer. I'm gonna regret this. I know I am. You know what? No, I'm gonna acid them. I need to save the flame. Game has its own interesting world, but if it's like that, I'm trying to tie them all together through Umbrella. I feel like I would have enjoyed four more due to immersing myself in the world. In that world, if they just said there's literal demonic cult, now half pun, rather than cooking up some contrived fires to tie Wesker and Umbrella into the whole thing. So they kind of did that, is the, the funny thing. They, um... The Los, Illum Los Illuminados aren't really, uh... They're not really tied to Umbrella. They're completely so like a parasite versus virus. It's just the nature of the world being so heavily uh, BOW centric. Like not even Umbrella, like this exists beyond Umbrella uh, in terms of like all the countries involved or all the companies involved and countries even. But it, Los Illuminados really was just a weird demonic cult. Um, that Wesker, like Wesker's at that point, he's not Umbrella. He's doing his own thing. But they tie it all, they do bring it all back to characters and themes we know. So that might not, uh, that in and of itself may be the deal breaker. I guess. Alright, sure. I'll roll with this. Do I need key? Which key do I need? I forget which it is. I want to say it's the silver one first, right? I'll take I'll take both. Just take both. Well enough, Kalish, hurry. I need this. I'm gonna get spat on.
Oh, oh, that's not. See, I would have been more into the RE6 Chris thing if it was done better. But as it's... I'll come back. The writing for me felt very contrived and very, like, comic book tropey, but in a very laughable um like generic action movie way you know it it did not work for me it was already 16 years yes exactly but that that doesn't really exempt uh chris from it i find something to eat. what are you gonna get that's hex crank. That's caves. Okay. This is interesting. I can technically do caves now. I don't know if I want to. I need to know what helmet key is. I said that I'm going to eat one of plate both of these. Actually, I need to. first. All right. Poke my head in. Poke my head in. Get poisoned immediately. I'm good. Was there something in there on the thing? On the, uh, the sink? I did not look. I was worried about getting out. I hope there wasn't. I hope good control in me. Put my head in. Use a key. I do have the red book. I could do that. I can do plan 42 right now. Someone do me the, the massive favor and double check that room. So if something was on that sink, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bad time. Uh, I 
L. Just for me. are these going to be? They are. Uh, I'll break it up into categories. So, like, I'll do map making for one stretch, and then I'll do the writing for another, and then, like, whatever categories you need to, and treat it as separate things as opposed to one massive undertaking. easier to manage for me that way. Having that uncovered makes me uncomfortable. So it might not be that 42, but I'm pretty sure it is. Could be completely random enemy, though. Alright. I'm have to make another trip anyway, so I might as well just work with what I got.
can never remember exactly uh, the order for this. I always have to reference. Three, four. Six, right? And another... Three. Yeah. This one go through the door. Got a lot of my prep now. I've been I've been deep in the writing minds because it's been like it's been legitimately hard. I I always feel like I'm making excuses of some kind when it comes to... It's been going on for so long, the... Neck and arm and... All the other, like, back genetics and all that stuff. Um... But it's legitimately hard to focus a good chunk of the time when it comes to writing and stuff with all that going on. So I haven't been writing as much as I wanted to. But I have been doing it more like trying to get what I can done for that prep because I know uh, I'm in the headspace for it. And I, I have to jump on that. Like, I, the writing is really what I care to do. It's, it's really... Uh, my favorite part of it. I hate maps. I hate it so much. Um, or hate them so much. I hate making them so much, that is. Even though it's... In a way, it's world building in a literal sense, but also it helps inform the writing for me, so I... Uh, I've grown to appreciate it. I still don't really like it. Like doing it. I appreciate its usage, though utility, the way it services multiple parts of development. I think where I'm at now, though, it would probably I would probably be better off focusing on map stuff than writing at the moment, if only because it's easier to to just do than it is to write. Risk it. I have a sneaking suspicion. Well, no, I know. I think it's bees down there. I think I had that spoiled for me by the uh, the demos. But any other the other rooms could be awful. It could be it's probably going to be spiders in one. Spiders are hunters. I was debating on bringing the grenade launcher, but I really don't want to waste the grenades. I still have caves. 
this isn't where I need to go. Dungeon, I've not heard of it, no. I use Dungeon Draft, and I have a lot of, uh, a lot of ass. I've put a lot of work into Dungeon Draft and getting everything working for it. Okay, it's fine. I need to deal with them. Yes, yes, buzz, buzz. Stop. You're alive? Okay. What are you doing up there? Never mind. Stop. You know. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. really just to see if I can at this point. Uh, oh god. I was reading. Jerk. Get down here. I don't know how I hit that one. I w need you to... Fine. Can you fly over this, I wonder? You should be able to fly. Yeah, that sounds useful. I am... I am a, uh, I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to making maps or, Are you... oh no. Are they spawning infinitely? Sometimes the game just says, you know what? You don't get to aim automatically. Yeah, I, um... I tend to think bigger than I probably should when it comes to map making. Leave me be. I, that's not... That I didn't... Bullshit. They're actually ruining my life. Am I gonna have to shotgun these jerks? I will. I don't think I won't. Hello, Khaleesi. 
I try to specify my soul, but I managed to fly my way out of the abyss just in time for Snake's birthday. It is not my birthday. But hello, how are you? Best pretzels are 100% Vermontians. Excellent. Yeah, you... You are, uh... A deliverer of truth. What's well, officially Greg? Oh shit. You're doing it. where they can spawn, they spawn infinitely because it's typically that beehive. I don't think I've ever seen that animation though. get it in, um, in caves normally. I guess you could come back. to share when you're oh god significantly worse. That was a legit... I had to make a decision on the fly whether or not I was going to act... Hi, hey, finally. Oh, that's bad for me, though. Um, whether or not I was actually going to go through with shooting them. I realized it was not a good play. So I didn't. Said everything. I feel like there's. Did I grab it already? What else? Jesus Christ. Ciao, Geth. Thank you for contributing to the trackball fund. Far too generous. Every time it gets me. Yeah, 
Happy, how dare you. Be gone. Leave me alone. I do this first. I do this first because I won't have to deal with hunters if I do. So that means I need the grenade launcher. I don't even have the sheet music. I have to go back and get the rocket launcher anyway. So I have to clear that room eventually. I just need the sheet music first. Which means I need... Probably in caves, or it's gonna be. I'm about to get it now, and uh. Bam. Grab it on the way. Well, I can do it now, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Ninety percent certain the trigger is uh I have forty two in the Wesker cutscene. It shouldn't be me using No, I can't even do that until Jolly, thank you for the raid. Hello to all of you. What are you up to? How y'all doing? Okay, good. Here's exactly what I thought. Uh, so this... How's it going? Thank you again. Hurry up to. I don't want to say that wasn't worth it, but. I'm disappointed. Damn. Uh, does he want healthy? Playing. Terrible Terraria challenge one hand because of Brooke Mercer. Oh no. You need that. How'd it happen if I may ask? Fucked 
stuff, of course. Ah. Happens to the best of us. I've never actually ridden a horse. I wouldn't say I'm deeply afraid of horses. I'm just keenly aware that they can end my life in, like, at a moment's notice if they so desire to. your favorite thing. What's your least favorite thing, Peachy? So Zelda music. Oh, we are doing a randomizer run. And I have custom music added. There's something in there. It's over. Just let me go. I don't think the two of us will be enough. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all. I don't always play by your rules. <sighs> how do you feel about stairs? Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about stairs. We finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. There shouldn't be any shipping routes in this area. Why did they growl? I didn't like that. I gotta go. Uh. Yeah, the, my dilemma is... Ah, uh, fine. I'll do it, but I won't like it. Yes, hello. You know what happens to little girls who can't play nice, don't you? They um. get punished. Both know it. Um.
Uh, so there are a handful of options you can select with the randomizer. Like you can randomize all the NPCs, um, and you can select which ones you want or don't want. On top of that, if you so desire, uh, you can randomize all the enemies and select their frequency. Uh, select which ones you want or don't want. You can have it if you so desire. On top of swapping the model, you can have it swap the voices as well. So you can have Barry's voice lines coming out of Ada, for instance. I don't really like doing that because it's it's weird. Uh, typically, though, I think there's a logic, or at least a pseudo logic, if at all applicable, when uh, two characters interact, even randomly. Like they try to make the voice lines fit the scene if they can, depending on who it is. So there's some method. Uh, items are obviously random. Inventory, the starting inventory was random. You can do uh, door randomizer. So I walk out here or walk out here. And I could appear in like the mansion bathroom or something if I had that turned on. That'll, that'll fuck you up something fierce too. There are a lot of different options. And if you are at all interested in this, uh, let me see if I can find the way. I think it's just biorand.com, but let me double check. Nope. It is net.net. It is there and everything comes prepackaged, including the P Why are they back? PC versions of the game. Ow, that actually hurt. That's spooky. I gotta go. Yeah, door rando is like I've done them. I don't like do well. I, it's not that I dislike them. It's I need to be in the headspace for it because it takes so much brain power. Like with this, with regular rando, I'd say regular rando as if randomizers are at all regular. But uh, regular rando requires from me a um. It's like heightened decision making you know, that you would experience in the base game, like unrandomized. It's the same kind of decision making, like which items to pick up and when, or whether or not you fight in a room, things like that, but heightened to a significantly higher degree because you don't know what's coming ever, and you have no way of predicting what's coming ever unless you're savvy enough with the game to eliminate possibilities. Your rando turns all of that, like there's, there's no way you can really, you just have to walk into a room and pray. Like there's so little in the way of decision making, it's really just a, it's like you're a pioneer. You're, you're a cartographer, you're an explorer, you're charting the uncharted, you're Nathan Drake. And everything is out to kill you. And just keeping all of it 
square in my head it takes so much effort. Like you can do it, but it's that it it is fun too. But I need to be in the mindset for it. I need to actually want to do it. I usually don't care to. Uh, this I have to go upstairs. Uh, shit. Let's get this over with. Did all of you respawn? It would appear so. That's unfortunate for me. BK6, does that exist? Every safe room of RE1 had three spiders. No, thank you. You have to pay the toll to access your item box. The toll is poison. I haven't encountered a single modus yet, and that makes me sad. Caves and labs are going to be stacked. Well, I could very feasibly get one or two of them here. Oh, that one? Yeah, okay. Uh, I want a shotgun, and I don't... Well, I have a pistol. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Get out of here. This is what the pistol is for. It was made for this. It's for killing zombies and dogs. You know what? I want to get sandwiched. I could feasibly uh, clear the game with this pistol ammo, I think. I don't want to, but I could. The only hang up I would see is caves, and that's really entirely dependent on what they put in there. If it's hunters, I. I'm just going to have a bad time. Anything else I can feasibly run around. But there's not so much. Like, normally you run around hunters and, like, base RE1. You just run past them. But that's because you know where they are and you know how many they are. I wish I could say the same for randomizers. Like you have a chance you think you'd have against Hunter with whatever in your house right now. Zero. Hunter would destroy me. Like I have knives. And the only chance I would have against a hunter, like stabbing a hunter to death, is uh, if I have enough room to get around of somehow telegraphed attack. But they're too quick for that. The wooden and gotten them. Oh no. This is a risk. I know it's a risk. Oh. Go to sleep. I did that because I wanted to load acid rounds because what's in here will probably require them. Yep. That is chock full of sharks. Orcas.
I need you to move. I need, I need you to. behind. Could have been worse. Yep, that's why, that is why I didn't cut my losses. Because I had a feeling it was the fucking Magnum. Alright, you're still here. assume flame but I because they're bugs but I don't I don't typically kill them but I'm going to have to because I have to come back I have to get the rocket launcher out of the, uh, the piano room the magnum get 19 rounds I guess it's cave time. I'm gonna bring shotgun for cave and pray I don't need pistol. Lighter, I think, is done. Still haven't gotten chemical. The first item I get in caves is going to be chemical, and I'm going to have to come back. Aren't there dogs out here? I need hex crank. Where do you get how you get hex crank from caves? That's why I never think to bring it. Uh add a passive. Rounds, yeah, that that tracks, but that's gonna be a problem. And that they're gonna hit me once or twice every time I pass through that room. On the one, I have to go back through a couple more times.
fine. I think we'll make this trip. three of them, which means I stand a mild chance of not taking damage if I can shoot this one quick enough. Four. Side, but no. What do you? What do you mean you crashed? Smegma Gaming, thank you for eight months with Prime. Welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, it, it told me that it was missing a specific. I don't know if I. I mean, I can. I'm gonna see if it crashes again if I go back into that room. But if that's the case, I might. Uh, the dream is dead unless I start another run, and I don't know if I want to. You're not on the wrong or right source. There we go. Boom. Where was this? Was this mansion or guardhouse that I think to save? Shit. I'll just go there. This is before I did anything. Oh, it's the, uh... What's the crux of the seed? I ran RE3 last time. I don't really mind doing RE3 runs if it doesn't crash. Crashed again. Yeah, right. Runs dead. Unless I don't have to go. I mean, I might have to go. I have a feeling I have to go into that room. Uh, That's unfortunate. Let's do all that. Yeah, that's, that's tragic. I think it's the first time that's happened with RE1. I'm pretty sure it is the first time that's happened with RE1.
three. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of bullshit. No, Magnum is interesting. Although, I don't mind a tough one every now and then. I am. The weapon spread is very interesting to me. Because this is all things like the launcher. Makes sense. Finale I get. Grenade launcher, of course. Especially with RE3's ammo. It, it makes sense. The lack of magnum is very interesting to me. Although I... There's less, there's less choice involved with the magnum. It is, it is the choice. So I can appreciate not including it. Interesting seed. The one thing I would like, well, the only thing that would give me pause with a seed out to like, all the, oh my God, I didn't even notice the, the average number of enemies per room. Although, the percentage of rooms with enemies is very low. So that might not be so bad. Just certain rooms would be hell. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting seed. Jillo's Rebecca. You know what I'm just now realizing? They have yet to add, uh, add zero, Rebecca. I don't think she has a terrible amount of lines, but they do add Billy, which is weird. also do RE1, like RE make for Becca. They have those. Yeah, that's interesting. They haven't done that yet. They have that for all the other duplicate characters that I can think of. That's strange. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know if I have it in me to start another run. It would have to be a meme run of some kind. Oh, was that, was that too loud for you all? Seems a bit on the louder side. I'm going to turn it down. Let's try that. Right, you just was you hit sewers. Oh no. I think RE three or rather RE two has the lowest potential of uh, bumming me out. Oh, I guess it depends on where it is. 
that's that's because I've played RE2 so much. Like it is, I think at this point my most played of the three. So it's very easy for me to just dive in, but uh, it still sucks. But yeah, I only. I didn't have, like, I didn't have a copy of three myself. A friend of mine did, so I would always have to either borrow it or play it when we were in the same, the same area. So it wasn't until I got three on PSN that I was actually able to play it, like, with any degree of regularity. And even then, it took me a handful of years to actually do that. I wanted to for PS1 and 64. I've always wanted to get my hand on an actual version of the, like, actual cart for the 64. Just to have it. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, where are you? That's weird. Huh. I don't believe it. Hold on. No, she's there for... That's so strange. Why is Misty not available for RE3? As a playable character, that is. Oh, damn, I can't do it. Sorry, I'm constructing a seed. Uh... All of you throw out some Resident Evil characters. Ultra Rumble has been putting in Japan. Strange. Kendo, Billy. Goes on hydrate.
bad at Ethan. I would have sworn they added him. Uh, for RE2 at least, let's see. Yeah, he's there for RE2. RE2 gets all of the love. I name your most uh hmm. name your least liked r e character Raymond, Barry, Goldwyn, and RE5, Excella. Can't work with any of this. Uh, let's see. Chief Irons. this left to work uh goes out of here and gamblers uh I'm going to turn off gunpowder completely. That's interesting. Very interesting spread. I'm going to. I could get enhanced. Yeah, I'll keep it. All right. Uh, random inventory. What do you mean, none? Oh, 
Alpha Kappa. I don't intend to finish this run, but I am going to start it because shenanigans. Uh... Okay, uh, I need to change a couple of things. First, I'll start the game. Yes, yes. Are you actually on the right thing? I think you are. Are you three just built different? Yeah, it is. No, don't. I can't look. I can't look. Stop. Free me. Yes, yes. Release me. Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. I think they shot something in my neck. I'm sorry if I was... I'm never turning into one of them! Never! So, who was that woman anyway? I get it. System for a bomb. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some uh, overtime? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? I was almost attacked by a monster, but I escaped through the other grass hole. Then I came. Ouch! I don't think that should hurt.
You know, I'm just starting to think that RE3's, uh, Christ, um, random inventory system is broken. I think every time I've done it, I start with a knife and nothing else. Okay. Uh, can't use this yet. Which is a shame because I really want to use this. I don't even have the... Uh... Oh, because I turned off gunpowder, there simply is no reloading tool. That's interesting. All right. Well, great start. Um, throw me behind you, please. That's not behind you. Oh. Behind. Thanks. Now don't scoop me. I gotta go. Oh, God. Don't punch randomly and we'll be golden. So it's not, uh, it's not broken. I'm just unlucky. Although I don't understand why I pick a random, but I guess none counts as an option. One or two updates behind, uh, no idea if that has anything to do with it, but it might. Tend to finish this run. Nemi is afraid of stairs, yes. At least these stairs. I mean, I get it.
it's not very interesting. I can post it. Just give me a second. Stars. Uh. Uh, the gist is Sherry, or not Sherry, uh, Ashley having the worst conversations with the worst characters. That was a real idea, and I, I sprinkled in just some regular uh, Still another. I should just go. I'm just gonna go. Gonna be nice. Gonna be nice. What's the mix up? Oh. Oh, they're flying. Are you already? I wish to stab your ankles. you are. Stop that. I'm gonna try to shove you. I don't know if that's stuck. Okay, I did. One more. Nope. Two more. The nice or knife is useful in uh, RE3. The shove helps a lot, and the added uh, ease of use. I guess easier to shove or to dodge with the knife equipped. Killing Ada's, I mean. Seems like the right thing to do. Yeah. You dead dead. You dead dead. That's handy. Uh, I don't know if I care though. I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to have to go back eventually, I'm hoping. It's nothing. Alright. Good. 
be arms, though. You gonna give me that gun anytime soon? Or is it gonna be in the goddamn factory? Always zombies. Of course, she fucking.
I was muted, yes. Thank you. Uh, the game gave me all three key items to go down, down all three possible paths. I can do pharmacy, I can do RPD, and I can do a uh, lockpick door to the rest of uh, the rest of the city. I think I'm going to do that first. How close are you? Too close. Stop it. No. All right. One shotgun shell. Suck. I did. It's okay, actually. Chronos chain. Unsegmented is wild. Double back for the room. What are you? Uh, of course. Is Blood Wars the third one? not good at all. In fact, I was upset that I watched it. But it was mostly because I had, uh... I liked the first two. At least I think I liked the second. I know I liked the first. I 
I need to deal with all those Weskers out by the, the pharmacy. trying to use one of those to keep my neck from moving around and uh doesn't really seem to be helping with anything the u-shaped ones yeah like it's making things worse i'm gonna try pharmacy if I can get there and survive. Where is our house? I'm gonna stow these. I'm gonna regret stowing them when I'm going to stow them. It's I've been doing um just like more movement, uh, and that that seems to help in the moment. Like earlier today, like when I got up today, it was I had to sit there and wait for it to die down before I could actually move. It was that bad. Uh, then I finished laundry at my parents today. I walked over there. Um, that movement. Like, after a while, it seemed to, it, it didn't go away, but it was significantly less just with that movement. So that was nice for a while. But, uh, now it's back. I think I should just remove my neck. It's gonna suck. Not a lot of room. So are you gonna... Cheeky devil. You see that nonsense? That was so rude. He's gonna bite me again. Nope. 
There we go. One. Caution. Oh, now caution. I'm getting sick of these bites. What? Okay. What an asshole. That was the rudest I've ever seen these zombies. I'm trying to I'm gonna die damn I was supposed to down him but I can't kill this oh there's never had them uh, basically sl slip around me like that. Like I'm trying to figure out how to even describe it. It was like he was circling around for a flank every time I went to go for a, uh, a shove. I've never had them do that. They usually just go straight for you. I wonder why that happened. Maybe the body on the ground? I don't know. That was interesting, though. He tried to backstab me. That was rude. I didn't like it, but, you know, we'll take it. I was really just doing this for the, uh, the cutscenes. I I feel like this seed could be fun though, so I might keep it. I might play it later. For now, though, I think I am going to call it. I need. Like tomorrow's Wednesday slash well no, it's ten thirty fuck. Now I'm torn. To the neck. I wish I could. I don't really. You no, know, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push it because uh, I want that'll lead to awful. And that'll lead to a worse night for me. I'm sure. So I'm going to call it. Maybe some, I have a, uh, like an ice pack sort of thing, like a gel pack that I've been applying every night. It doesn't seem to help. 
but I'm going to keep trying. And a better crispy bar in the fridge. Delicious. Yeah, I'll figure out what, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I haven't spoken to Shay at all since Sunday. Rusty, you've arrived at the most inopportune time. Constable, do you have a hammer? Have several hammers, perfect. Apply them directly to my forehead. We're running to excellent. Now we're talking. Palachi, you've arrived at the most inopportune time. I mean, I'm trying. We'll get there. I do think it's, uh, well, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how it's. Like, it feels like it, at times it feels like it's getting better when it's at its, the, the highs are getting higher, but the lows are staying the same. But I'll take the higher highs. Hopefully it'll go away with time, or improve with time. I can figure something out. Step below you and break everything back up. Perfect. inflation all right I I hate that it's only 1030 although that's what happens when you start on time I guess Alice, no. And you have arrived at the most inopportune time. It's three people. I gotta go. This is getting out of hand. There's still one of them, but it's really big now. <laughs> 